you are always behind the athletes. You were portrayed or you were the inspiration for a movie. I don't know if uh, people know that about Jerry Maguire, a movie um, that it was based in your job with the athletes. How that helped your career? I mean, I, I imagine it was huge. So I have two identities. When it comes to athletes, I'm in the shadows. The only point is to make them this. But um, uh, when Jerry Maguire came out, the director had followed me around for um, two and a half years going everywhere I went. So he observed pro scouting days and games and uh, all the rest of it. And I told him stories, lots and lots of stories. And so he went off and, uh, and wrote the script. Um, and then I had to vet the script as a technical advisor to make sure it wasn't phony. So you know that sports people talk a certain way and they act a certain way and things look a certain way or you get pulled out of the willing suspension of disbelief that holds you in a movie. Um, and then I had to work with the actors. So I took a young actor named Cuba Gooding Jr. down to, um, uh, to the Super Bowl and I made him pretend he was a wide receiver. And I had him spend time with Desmond Howard and a bunch of other wide receivers. Uh, I actually had to show the quarterback in the film played by Jerry O'Connell how to throw a spiral because he had gone to NYU and they didn't have a football program there. Um, so I've never walked through uh, an airport or been out to dinner for more than a second where someone didn't run up as fast as they can and say, show me the money. What you gonna do, Jerry? Show me the money! Congratulations, you're still my agent.